Yeah, I seem to get stuck with the weird anime-related games. But I'm comfortable with my lot in life. But then Felicity in Worcestershire sent us something I'd never heard of. Not in a million years. A strange, kid-friendly platformer based on an anime that ran for 37 episodes in 1991. And after scouring YouTube to find a couple episodes, I can say this, we weren't really missing much. It centers upon this kid Ashibe, who does f**k all in this game, and his pet harp seal pup who does all the heavy lifting despite being a f seal. And for whatever reason, they're in an amusement park. And for whatever reason, they have to collect things and get to an exit because of reasons. I may be oversimplifying, but a more likely reason is that there's just not much to this game. You progress through a number of stages, which contain eight things that you have to assemble to open up the exit. Could be apples, could be stars, could be octopi or rabbits or anything else. Some are sitting out in the open and some have to be jarred into play by headbutting objects that may or may not be background decoration. You don't really know until you try. Unfortunately for the rare times that you come up against a hostile creature, your headbutt does nothing to dissuade the beast beast in this case possibly meaning kindergartner. And instead, you go flying and lose an arbitrary number of collected things. Kind of like Sonic losing rings, only you still don't die even if you lose your last collected ring. See that extra life tracker down there? I didn't actually find any way to lose lives. Instead, the difficulty comes via tricky platforming, crappy control, especially on ice which is ridiculous for a creature native to Canada and Greenland, irrational physics, and the occasional ridiculous request like headbutting basketballs into a hippo's mouth. Four times. But for as juvenile as the subject material may be, emphasized by Gomachan, the seal, making cute noises to the camera if left idle for even a couple seconds, at least some effort went into the game. Case in point, cite me one other game of its era that includes different hanging off the edge animations depending on which way the character's facing at the time. I can't think of any. It's obvious that this is a kid's game, but it's refreshing to know that it's not the kind of absolute shovelware that such a designation might imply today. And it gave me a reason to watch videos of baby seals of different species for research purposes. You try that and it's called slacking off. I was doing due diligence in ascertaining that's a harp seal. You're welcome, Internets. 